Prime here we have a nice little proportion. M square minus M is equal to 15. M square minus M is equal to 15. Here we are going to find out the value of M. And here M is not equal to M. So let's start with solution. In the first step, I will going to name this equation. This will be 1 and this one 2. Now I'm going to use the elimination method and I'm going to subtract the equation here. M square minus M is equal to 15. N square minus M is equal to 15. Now we are going to change the signs. This is positive M square. And this one is negative N square. Here again, I will going to write plus M in sequence. M and then negative M. And here, this is going to be cancelled out, so it will be equal to zero. Next, both these terms are in the perfect square, so I'm going to use the algebraic identity that is a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b. So I'm going to apply it here. So expression turns to m minus n, m plus n. And this one is going to be plus m minus m is equal to zero. Now here I am going to take the greatest common factor of m minus m because here is m minus m and here is m minus m. So m minus m is common here. This m plus m is remaining here. Here I am going to write this in a place of this one is equal to zero. Here we get the two cases, m minus n is equals to 0, m plus n plus 1 is equals to 0. Here m is equals to m, so this case is rejected. In the beginning, I wrote it already, m is not equal to 1, so this case is going to be rejected. Now, I am going to solve this case through here. I am going to take this. 1 to the right hand side and plus n is equal to minus 1. In the next step, I'm going to square with this side so it will turn to m plus n who is to power 2 is equal to minus 1 who is to power 2. Now, here I'm going to use the algebraic identity that is a plus b. A square two is equal to a square plus two ab plus b square. Now we're going to apply it here. So this will turn to m square plus m square plus two m and is equal to one. Now we're going to name this equation as a. Now I'm going to add up equation one and equation two by elimination method. So that is m square minus n is equal to 15. n square minus m is equal to 15. Over. This will turn to m square plus n square. This one minus m minus n is equal to 30. As I'm going to simplify it, it will turn to m square. Plus m square. Now I'm going to take both these terms to the right hand side. So it will equal to is equal to 30 plus m plus n. Here this uh, m square plus n square is equal to 30. And now in replacement of this m plus n, we have the value above that is this one. So I will going to plug in the negative one and replace for now m plus n. So this equation turns to m square plus m square is equals to 30 minus 1 m square plus n square is equals to 20. Now I will going to Write equation A here that is m square plus n square plus 2m and is equal to 1. So, this is equation A that we already done above. 
Now I am going to plug in the value of m square plus n square that is 21. So 29 plus 2m m is equal to 1. From here, I am going to move this 29 to the right hand side. So it will turn to 2mn is equal to 1 minus 29. It will turn to mn is equal to negative 23. Now this 2 is going to be divided both the sides. So 2mn over 2 is equal to negative 2, 8 over 2. This I'm going to cancel. This I'm going to cancel with 14. So the value of m here we find out that is negative 14. So this is our final answer. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.